Was that called the General Lee? I feel like it was. Isn't that the coolest little thing? Well, hello, you wonderful bunch. Welcome back to my office. Right, it is a Friday, and I thought I would share with you what I've been up to. I've been working down in the shed because I want to move these three bays down there. That is the goal. Um, we're keeping, for now, these two up here, and this is going to house all of Andrea's ceramics and glass and homewares on those two bays. That's the idea. The other three bays, we're going to take all of the ceramics off, all of this stuff that's breakable, it's going to stay up here, hopefully fit on the other ones. All of what we call my stuff is all coming down to the shed. Um, yeah, so I've got to move all of that, but um, I've been packaging. I've got two sacks um, ready to go, but I've had more orders come in today. So I thought I'd pop down to the shed, grab the few more bits that I need to package up and drop off quickly. And I'll show you what I've done down there. The other reason I need to get on with this is we have another pallet load of stock turning up, I think Monday, Tuesday. I think it's being dispatched today and we're going to receive a pallet on a truck on hopefully Monday, maybe Tuesday. So I need to get everything ready down there for that. So I've got my work cut out. So uh, yeah, anyway, welcome. Hope you're well. Uh, if you're new here, my name's Nick. I sell stuff. This is some of the stuff on the internet for profit. That's how I earn a living. That's my job. And this channel is all about that. Anyway, right, I'm going to pop downstairs and we'll grab the few bits and I'll show you what I've been doing in the shed. Let's go. Right, here we are in the shed. It works. My teleporting skills are back. Okay, so I have a list um, of the things I quickly need to pack, add to those sacks and get that out. And then I'm going to start moving. But if we come over here, you will be able to see. Now, you may remember, not long ago, I condensed all of this stock down to that end. What I've done now is move these bays around so that the biggest, widest bay is now at that far end and condensed all of the stock into that corner. And then we have these two bays and the thinner one over there. And then now a gap in that corner. And then the other three bays are going to fit along here. It did make sense. There was a point to it. Um, so that's what I've been busy doing. Um, I've started, I bought a little bit of secondhand stuff down, but not a lot. So that's where we're at with it all. And then over here behind me, this little cupboard has now gone in here, as you can see at the end of the worktop there. I've got stuff everywhere. It's still a bit of a mess. I've been working out what I'm going to do here with shelves and stuff. Um, I still want to find time to put a big shelf all the way along the top of here so I can use all of the space under the eaves. But yeah, I'm struggling for time as ever. That's the problem. But anyway, let's quickly grab the few more bits I've got to get to the post office. There's a crate. And then, yeah. Once that's done, I can start packing up stuff up there, bringing it down and finding homes for it. Empty all of those bays, bring the bays down. Not sure how far we'll get with all of that today, but we'll have a go. So I need some more drills. Now I've moved everything, so I'm gonna to struggle to remember where I've put it all. Uh, one of those, a cat carrier. So uh, these ones, these are the, yeah, these are the pet stuff bags. These are the carriers that you put your pets in. And I've put some bubble machines on top. That wasn't clever. Can I do it one-handed? Uh, sort of. <laughs> Is that the right one? Yes, one of those has gone out. I think they're going at 20 pounds. Um, astronaut. Come on, I opened another case of these. These are really picked up 
Uh, now I've tweaked the price on those and now we're super competitive and they've been flying out, which is good. So we need some of the nano tape. Sold another two lots. Um, oh, actually, I've got some on here now. I forgot about that. Tucked in here is a bunch. So, oh, and I want to say hi to Jane. There was a message on one of them from Jane, long time viewer. You were saying you miss our quizzes. We haven't done quizzes for so long. Yeah, that was that was a lockdown thing. But yes, thank you for your order. I think you said you're going to use some of this to put up pictures. It should do that perfectly, hopefully. Um, so yes, two lots of four of those going. Thank you very much, Jane. These are the toilet, you can't see, the toilet roll holders. And they're really squeezed in. There's one up there. Come on, come on, come on. Can't get it out. Oh my goodness. It's wedged. <laughs> yes, another pair of these. They're ticking along. I don't know how many we've got. Maybe 20 odd of those left. Uh, Himmy paints. Himmy paints. Where did I put them? Here. Another one of those going at £30. Can't show you because they're all sealed up, but I'm sure you've seen them before. Um, oh, one of these, uh, one of these, only got two of these. Grab one. These are watch cases. I, I only had three to start with, and we've now only got the one left. This one isn't in a plastic bag so I can show you hopefully okay that's better it's in the light so you can see in the top there are 12 of these little uh, watch pillows and you can display your watches this is just a piece of paper in here so it's got a glass top so you can display them and then the bottom has a little place for rings and jewelry and necklaces there you go. So, one of those left. Yeah, you can display your watch collection. I don't have a watch collection. I do own a watch or two. I don't tend to wear them. Uh, I use my phone as a watch. Um, but yeah, they're really nice. And we've sold one of those. Only got one left. Oh, and then some random red noses. I don't even know if they are here. No, they're down here. Right. So I've got a box here with three different vintage noses in it. And somebody has bought a set of three. So there's an owl. These aren't that old. These are 2019? No, 2017 maybe. Yeah, 2017, I think. Um, a dragon and a mummy. So yeah, for some random reason, I had loads of those designs, as you can see. So I've been doing them little sets of three. Somebody picked one of those off. So all of that, which is now in there, needs to be packaged quickly, added to those sacks. Probably gonna need another sack. We'll get that dropped off and then um, we'll start work upstairs. Okay, it's a while later. We have got rid of all of the orders, all the sacks have gone, dropped off at the post office. So I have these crates here and I think I'm going to start by trying to clear unlisted stock uh, of mine. As I go and I find Andrea's ceramics, I'll be putting it over there somewhere. And I think I'm going to tackle this first, try and clear this. Um, whatever is in here. I'll be discovering as I go what on earth is in these shelves. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to set you up somewhere over here and I'll time lapse that for a bit. See if we can find a view that works. Somewhere here, maybe like that. So yeah, I don't know, it's kind of a little bit, where do I start with this? Because it feels like a huge job. So I've just got to make a start, see how we get on. Start moving stuff out and slowly but surely 
we'll get somewhere. It's the idea. Anyway, right, it's time lapse. <laughs> So, three crates packed, ready to go, and some space. Um, I've certainly been finding stuff I didn't really know I had, but it's always the way. What's that? And um, Sainsbury's thing, chuck that. So, yeah, what are these? Oh, Beginnings of a Now album bundle, or maybe that's the dregs of the last one I did. Don't know, let's find a home for them. So these little figures are Lego. There's a random Lego Friends figure there. And this guy. Uh, not quite sure where to put those. Pop those over there for when I get some Lego. What's this? Skiing Mickey Mouse badge. Interesting. Uh, a couple of little xylophone thingies. No idea. Um, and then we're getting into lots more ceramics and Andrea's stuff. What's under here? Oh. God, I've had that for ages. Oops. Dropping remotes. What's that? LG remote, that just needs to get listed. Uh, yes, so, in there. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff down here. My word, what have I squirreled away? This is a clock we bought at auction and we had it on our mantelpiece. We bought it to keep for ourselves, but it doesn't function. So we're just gonna sell that Solder scene, spares repair, I think is the idea. Lots of ceramics in here. What have we got in here? Apple keyboard, they sell well. Oh, the uh, the doll's house stuff and the loft is still here. There's some really quite, oh, some really quite nice furniture. There's a great big four poster bed. Not in the best of condition, but sure somebody will pick it all up and uh, do something with it but I think what I need to do first is um, pack up what is left of my listed stock there's not a great deal left up here it's just really bits and bobs on this top shelf um, and get rid of what's left of my stock here so I can create some space in order to fit all of these ceramics and stuff so yeah Let's do that first. So we have some stuff in here. I need to get this listed. This is really cool. Orange County Choppers signed cap. Yeah. Um, so I've created some space. As I was going through and pulling out listed stock, there were these and I thought, I haven't seen those on our eBay for ages. I just had a look and they've dropped off eBay. They do not exist. So I need to create a new listing for those, which is slightly irritating, but at least I found out. So there's some space. Um, oh, this is lovely as well. Just looking at that, such a nice piece, solid piece of wood, little lamp stand. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's so heavy as well. So, right, I think I'm gonna get back into it. Um, yeah, try and clear this bay. There we go, okay.
right, that didn't take too long. Um, so we have our first clear bay. Oh, well, there's some packing supplies, but that's just going to be squirreled away over there, I think. Um, yeah, I found a few more interesting bits. So these very sparkly, shiny shoes were actually our daughter's for her prom. Um, she bought them especially for that and has no need for them now. And we just haven't got round to to selling them. We've got a matching little bag. Yeah, kind of sentimental, but we have no use for them. Ellen doesn't want them, so they need to get sold on. Very fancy. What's to make in there? Office, London. So yes, that's a job that needs doing. And then over here, I'm not sure I've ever shown this. I may have done. This has been in our family for years and years and years. It's a First World War <clears throat> German Pickelhaube helmet. So much history and rarity. But I think it's time to move this on to somebody who will care for it, look after it and, and treasure it. Um, yeah, tricky one really. But I think it's time to let this go. We may put this into a specialist military auction along with the collection of photographs I have from the Second World War. Second World War. Um, I mean, this is First World War, but yeah, such an amazing, amazing piece. But it sits in a box. Nobody ever looks at it. Nobody is taking care of it. So I think it's time to move that on. And this side is already starting to look rather rammed. Um, now, considering the, the vague plan is to leave just these two bays up here for listed and unlisted ceramics, I'm not sure that's going to work out because the majority of what's in here is all ceramic. We may have to rethink at some point, but I can condense this a lot more, hopefully. Uh, there is some space down here and a little bit down here, but not a lot. Anyway, I'm going to move all of these boxes down to the shed and get those unpacked. Here's something I was working on earlier. Um, this is a Minecraft set. That's what I paid in a charity shop, three pounds. Um, it's missing this creeper guy, but everything else is pretty much all there. There's, uh, what's his name? Steve? This really cool little snowman. Oops, he's currently stuck to the roof. This comes off. And also, this opens up. Isn't that cool? So I had fun building this at lunchtime. There's the manual. It's not worth a great deal, probably only about 20 pounds, but yeah, I enjoy building it. How's it going? All right. All right, are you listing? Um, yeah, I'm listing on Etsy. Etsy. Our Etsy sales have dropped off a bit, haven't they? They have, but that's probably because um, I haven't been listing on it as much. Ah. <laughs> that's it's, it's very much like eBay, you have to keep feeding it in order to get the sales. Feed the beast. Yes. Feed the beast. Right, okay, let's go out to the shed. Oh, I need to take this. Could you shut that door behind me? I'm struggling for lack of hands. Cheers. It suddenly got very dark out here. So, there's the shed. Oh, doesn't it look cool with all the lights on in the dark? Right, avoid Jeff's poo bombs. Yep, we're okay. So, uh, this is everything that I've brought down. Uh, a couple of extra crates that I packed up as well. So I thought we would uh, attempt to fit all of that in here. It's gonna be a bit tight. I fear, because I don't yet have 
the three bays that are coming down. Ah, <sighs> yeah. And we were just discussing the fact that um, all of that ceramic stock, there's not really going to be enough space up there. So what we're going to do is have all listed stock in here, um, including Andrea's ceramics glass, etc. Um, as it gets listed, it will come in here. And from, I don't know when, maybe sometime next week, once I have these bays in, once I move down my equipment like label machine and printer, etc. Once all of that is set up in here and all of my envelopes and supplies are down here, I'm going to start doing all of the packaging from down here, which will be so much better. So I've got this great big table, I've got loads of space. And then at some point when I get the time and I sort this room out, we'll have what I think still is going to be a dedicated photography area in here. Um, but it all takes time and, you know, we're busy with lots and lots of stuff. But for now, I will find another vantage point and you can watch me attempt to fit all of that in what I've got left of the space over there. I'm going to try maybe up here on top of this. Oh, how about that? Bird's eye view. Does that work? Yeah, okay, let's go for that. There we go. Lack of crates and some full racks. Well, they're not really full. There's there's loads of space left, which is good. Um, yeah, happy with that. Um, I've got some clothing on here. Now you may be aware I, I don't really do clothing. Andrea doesn't really anymore either. Um, but we have a few bits. This, this is an erasure tour t-shirt. Uh, that I picked up crazy cheap when I was buying some stuff for my collection. So that's going to be sold on. Um, I think this is a band tee as well. Yeah, this is a Led Zeppelin band tee. And a few other bits and bobs, a couple of sports shirts. And I kept these out because I want to bag them before putting them away. So I'm going to, to bag those up in these before they go on the shelves. Um, I may do that with some of the books as well. Um, yeah, I think it's wise. I've got a really nice set down here, a complete set of these Harry Potter paperbacks with the really cool images on. Absolutely love the artwork. Oh, this is something different. That's a hardback goblet of fire that's gonna go on separately, but this is the complete set of these. Look at that, just think they're stunning, stunning pictures. So yeah, that's a lovely, lovely set. But yeah, I'm just gonna bag those as well. Um, yeah, and there we go, that's all the stuff. Some cool little bits in here I forgot I had. Little wind up um, Dukes of Hazard car. Was that called the General Lee? I feel like it was. Isn't that the coolest little thing? What else have we got in here? All sorts of bits and bobs. watch there what have we got here it's a little uh, tape measure with advertising on it another tape measure there really nice vintage stanley so yes we have lots and lots of unlisted stock now i'm i'm gonna put my listed stock up here because all of this is listed this is the big hall that i've condensed to this end so it makes sense to me to have listed up here. So I can kind of have a, a natural barrier here where we go from listed to unlisted. And then probably most of this will be unlisted as well. Not sure where Andrea's listed ceramics and stuff will go. We'll work that out. 
I'm quite happy with the progress. Certainly made a dent in it, but I've got a lot more work to do. Yeah. And as I was saying before, we, we get this next load of stock um, Monday or Tuesday. So no doubt I will make a video and share that with you. Um, we have taken a bit of a chance on some stock this time. I'll show you on the day when we get it and you can let me know what you think. We've, we've invested a big chunk of the profit from, from the first haul. We've done really well on that, sold through so much of it. And we've now reinvested a big chunk of the profits from last month when we did really well on that. And it remains to be seen. I will show you that when it turns up. Uh, we have one pallet coming. Um, yeah, it's gonna be an interesting one. Uh, yeah, so there you go. I think I'm just waffling now. So yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll grab another one of my videos as I like to do. I will pop it up here and perch it on my hand. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do. It's completely free and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.